we are here um, on board the ship Bare Liberum, a motor vessel that is actually 103 years old. Um, it has been in the last uh, years used um, as a search and rescue vessel and is now uh, used as a monitor vessel, as a vessel that we use to do monitoring uh, in the Aegean Sea. Um, here especially uh, on the island of Lesbos, which is close to the Turkish mainland, um, just some eight nautical miles um, at some spaces uh, are in between Turkey and Greece. And uh, here we have the eastern route that is used by um, refugees to cross from Turkey to, uh, to Greece uh, in the hope of getting um, protection in Europe. Now what we do with this ship is mainly to observe, document and put awareness on the situation um, and on what we see um, out there on sea. Um, we do monitor, of course, uh, the uh, um, Hellenic Coast Guard as well as uh, the European assets from Frontex, but also from uh, NATO uh, that are in the region there and um, that um, are supposedly there to um, protect the borders on the one hand and on the other hand to do search and rescue. Unfortunately, um, we, uh, we always um, had a suspicion that the search and rescue um, is, is not done as uh, effective as possible and as it is it would be um, needed to do by law um, but now since March this year 2020 we realized that um, uh, official assets like the Hellenic Coast Guard but most likely also the Greek Navy um, are performing pushbacks that means um, boats that come from uh, Turkey rubber boats with around about something 30, 40, 50 people on board um, all crammed together on a really small space. They do uh, the crossing, they're not hindered by the, uh, by, by the Turkish Coast Guard, but uh, the Greek Coast Guard pushed them back. That means um, we have um, so far recorded some uh, 200 cases where Greek Coast Guard takes the people on board and um, puts them into life rafts. Life rafts are kind of um, emergency um, assets that you use uh, if your boat is sinking, um, if you're drowning, that you then can deploy on um, a little uh, inflatable island uh, where you can hide in it and wait until you get rescued. Um, these things work more or less automatically and they are supposed to rescue you if you're drowning. Now to use them to put people in there um, in order to to let them then drift into Turkish uh, territorial waters um, is of course completely against their use and um, is definitely breaking uh, a couple of laws of uh, maritime law but also of the reason or the, the law to not to refool people into another country which means basically whoever comes to a European country has the right to um, ask for asylum and this um, asylum claim, claim needs to be uh, revised and needs to be checked um, but you cannot just push the, uh, the person back uh, without giving them the person the possibility to um, uh, to ask for uh, for the protection and to go through um, a legal procedure there now before that happened uh, before March we had more the situation that uh, the European uh, assets like Frontex and the NATO vessel they work together with the Turkish Coast Guard um, since it seems that Turkey um, has some interest in, in stopping uh, the collaboration there with, with Europe or to put pressure on Europe in order to use and definitely make use of people and of people that are seeking protection, um, to use them in order to, um, to put pressure on the European politics and just to let the people um, uh, leave the country. Um, of course, one knows that, um, that uh, Turkey is already doing uh, a lot uh, for, for around about uh, 3 million um, refugees in their own country. Um, but still, um, one can say or one has to uh, notice that Turkey is using uh, people as, um, as a pressure material or something to, uh, on, on, on Europe and on Greece especially. And uh, unfortunately, we we witnessed that Greece is not responding in a humanitarian way, which 
would be possible, it would be possible to take the people um, safely uh, on board um, and um, to process them here in a, in a, in a humane manner um, uh, and, and, and let them um, ask uh, for their asylum. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Greek authorities uh, rather decided to push back people and um, um, besides the, um, uh, the around about uh, 7,000 uh, people that had been pushed back by the Hellenic Coast Guard themselves from March. Uh, this is only the cases that we know of. Um, still uh, uh, some 10,000 uh, made it uh, to the Greek islands uh, in the same time. In that time uh, they um, had to stay then in makeshift temps, uh, uh, camps um, on, the, on the shore uh, doing a quarantine of course for uh, the corona regulations and um, once they, they got out of these um, makeshift camps, they would come to uh, the Camp Moria. Now, as, um, as it is, uh, has been discussed a lot in the, in the media, the Camp Moria burned down and now the people are in a, uh, again, really, really quickly um, um, uh, imp improvisation of a camp um, that um, just um, today with the first um, rainfall of autumn uh, just got completely flooded. <laughs>